Hey y'all, welcome back. We have strict Nate today. So really Nate is the classic uh, kind of benchmark hero workout. We added the word strict to it to make the exercises strict. That way we could buy a strength a little bit more uh, and we don't have to test with something like kipping handstand push-ups. That is a very CrossFit competition thing, uh, but not something I was going for today. So uh, kind of keep that in mind. We'll have a bunch of ways we can scale this. There's gonna be a lot of variations and, and levels uh, and people doing some ring muscle up, people doing maybe some pull up and some strict ring dip work or ring row and push up work to replace these. We're gonna have a lot of variations for the handstand push ups. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of ways we can trade these around. If you're at home, don't have a pull up bar, don't have a kettlebell, yada, yada, yada. We're, we'll throw up a lot of options today uh, in the description of this video and on the workout blog to check those out if you're, if you're curious. So let's just kind of talk about it as is prescribed and written here. We've got a 20 minute AMRAP, so this is long. Uh, you're out of breath the whole time, but not like what we classically think of as metabolic conditioning, out of breath, dizzy, really pushing the pace. This is really a pure muscle fatigue workout when we do it strict, which is kind of what we are going for today. So two strict ring muscle ups. A lot of people, uh, if you have strict ring muscle ups, a lot of people are just gonna wanna change that number maybe from two to one. So we want something on all of these things where you can kind of just keep moving and we don't want you just getting completely stuck. So I kind of, the handstand push-ups. I'm not amazing at a handstand push-ups. Uh, so four, I probably would've had a much better workout if I would've done three the whole time and just lopped off that last one. That would've kept me moving through this a little bit more and four kind of made me uh, especially towards the end, have to go one at a time, take some breaks, and it kind of slowed me down. So if I were to redo it, I'd probably go two, three, eight, and so on. But really what we're looking for with the strict ring muscle ups is a strict pull and a strict kind of press in that decline angle. Uh, so we can do that with rings, we can do it with chest, strict chest to bar pull ups, we can do it with chin over the bar pull ups, we can do it with ring rows. To get that decline angle, we can change those with ring dips, uh, we can do banded ring dips and things like that, but we can also do knee push-ups and knee deficit push-ups if you wanna make the knee push-up harder to give us that angle. The strict handstand push-ups, uh, we can scale that with stacking ab mats up so you don't have to go as low. We can also scale that with a variety of things with your feet on the box, knees on the box, and we can even just take dumbbells, kettlebells, barbell, and just sit there and press overhead, and I'll give you a percentage for that too if, if you're going that way. So. The kettlebell swings, these are kind of a non-factor. You kind of look forward to getting to them, and then you realize eight doesn't take very long. Uh, it's heavy, but a set of eight, after all this muscle fatigue stuff, not a big deal today. So uh, the, the kettlebell swings are kind of a non-factor. There's no real strategy. The strategy on these two things are really just listen to your body. You're going to have to come out with a, a strategy that's conservative, and you're going to have to update it as you go. But you shouldn't be hitting an almost failure rep and then try and do another rep just because you came up with you're gonna go two and two on the handstand push-ups or something like that. You're gonna have to make adjustments throughout this workout uh, as you go. So a lot of this one is just gonna be working with your coach, uh, figuring out how to get this one scaled correctly. That way it's just a 20 minute kind of move consistently from here to here to here, battle for positions, battle. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough one, but it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy these. Uh, muscle fatigue management workouts. Uh, 20 minutes is a long time. You start to realize that when you're like four minutes into this workout. So all you do is just take it one thing at a time, the next thing at a time, and kind of just ignore the clock. Uh, Cause really you're just trying to move consistently here. But it's a fun one. Another thing you can do is lop the strict off of this one. Just go Nate, make these ring muscle ups, handstand push ups uh, with kipping. So you could do that also. Uh, the ring muscle ups would uh, change, uh, sorry, the scaling of them could change the burpee chest to bar pull ups. So taking the strict out of Nate would push kind of the metabolic side of the conditioning of this workout as opposed to just the strength. So that's always an option too, but for the programming, when we throw strict Nate in there, we are looking for that kind of muscle fatigue uh, workout. Hope that helps. Enjoy it. Talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Thank you.
listening. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Thank you.